Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be going through the steps of installing a twin ear E36 diff onto an E30, uh, all custom mountings and everything to go with it. Unfortunately it looks like I lost a bit of footage uh, but what I've done is remove the whole cross member uh, to restart the whole job. There's quite a lot of corrosion on the old one. It's a pretty simple job, it's more of a cut out uh, bend to shape. This was just a simple sheet bend, I just needed a few forms on each end to get the right shape. Uh, an absolute countless spot welds to get it back in. The uh, cross member sits on the two chassis legs, so that's quite good for a reference point. So before removing the old anti-roll bar mounts, what I first did is got some measurements of the distance, the height, and also the distance from the chassis, chassis rails, so I was able to weld these back in the same place as where they were as original. Now to install in the subframe and diff temporarily, just to get the distance correct. I do have a measurement for this, so I was able to set that up correctly, and then you can work to make the mounts off that. Uh, top tip, do not install a diff on your own, it's rather heavy. I actually forgot to take a measurement of this when I removed it. So luckily one of my friends who's done something similar was able to help me out here. So that was set to 135 mil. So I made this rough start on the mount a while back now. Um, what this is is a little spacer that's able to sit on the inside of the bush. Uh, if you didn't have this, uh, it would be sitting on the whole face and that wouldn't let the bush do its work. So now after taking a few measurements from the uh, diff mounting, I was able to figure out the height of the whole mount and then also where it should sit on the cross member. So first I'll just take a little cut to, to get the angle right and then I was able to go with the full thing. So a fair bit of chopping later, I was able to be happy with the angle and the height. As you can see here, it sits nice and clean with uh, a good clearance onto the hole. After a quick conversation with my mates and also looking at the original design, I decided to go with these 150mm, 3mm thick spreader plates. They were able to spread the load of the torque because of the engine. I just felt a bit more confident with them, so I just chopped the uh, mounts to suit.
with a few tacks to hold it in place, I didn't want to do anything more. It's quite an expensive diff now. Then I was able to uh, check the fitment, able to remove the diff, and then we can fully weld it in place. After completely welded in, just thought I'd quickly check, check the diff again to make sure there's no warpage. Luckily there wasn't, so I was happy with that. We can now remove that and get on with the painting. Now moving on to painting. Here I'm using a two pack epoxy primer. This is uh, usually for a spray gun, but I, uh, I mix it up as normal and uh, paint and brush it on. It's able to really get more into the seams. You've got a lot more kind of access with a brush. Uh, it just requires two coats and it sets really well. I have done this before, a um, bit more explained in when I originally did the underside, so I will link that video now. And here's the finished product. I've actually completed uh, repairs on the, the other cross member with the seat belt mounts, the uh, spring perches, done some handbrake pipe uh, and the fuel tank holding. Um, so I just thought I'd paint all that in one. So now we're able to move on. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.